For shipping, the most common options for calculating shipping costs are either setting up a self-contained shipping matrix or connecting to a third-party vendor, such as UPS. Both have advantages and disadvantages. We'll look at both so you can decide on which one is best for your particular needs. But the first thing you're going to want to do is enter your country and your states or regions. So let's take a look at that first. Go ahead and click on the Shipping and Tax drop-down and click on Countries or Regions. Here you can add new countries and regions. Regions is just another word for states. Many countries don't have states, such as the UK and Ireland, but they do have regions or counties. So that's what this basically means. You enter the country, you sort which ones you want to come up. If you show multiple countries, you can set it up where you just show the US, or you can show US and Canada, or show however many countries you enter. And then you go ahead and enter the states, and they're listed here. Throughout the admin, there's something that's shown on this page that's important to realize. There's a delete checkbox and an archive checkbox. Now you notice that the delete checkbox is grayed out. What does that mean? Throughout the admin, if a delete box is grayed out, that means you can't delete it. The reason you can't delete it is that there's things associated with it that if you did delete it, it would break the database or cause orphan data. In these cases, if you don't want to see it anymore and don't want to use it anymore, you can archive it. But you can't delete it because that would cause data corruption. So anytime that there's another product or an order or a customer or whatever related to a particular field, once that relationship is created, you can no longer delete that data. So that's something throughout the database that you'll notice. If the delete button is not grayed out, that means it's free and you can delete it which you'll do a lot of during testing. But once it's grayed out, it means you have to first delete other things if you want to, to get rid of that. And we'll take a look at that when we get to orders or products. Next, we click on local extensions. This page affects both taxes and shipping. So we'll come back to it briefly when we get to taxes as well. This basically shows the state code and the name of the state or the region. And then what we're interested in right now is the ship extension. This is what I talked about before when we're building a shipping matrix. You enter an extension here that's a multiplier. Let's say, for example, it costs you 200 times more to ship a product to Alaska than it does to ship it to the person next door. You can enter that multiplier in here. Therefore, orders being shipped to Alaska will have the shipping cost multiplied by that amount, so you're charging an appropriate amount to be shipped to that destination. This takes a little dialing in over a period of time, but once it's done, this self-contained system becomes very powerful and you can build out a shipping grid that basically will cover your shipping costs to various different states and regions. Here we have shipping methods. You can create different shipping methods and associate them with different countries that you have in the system. For example, right now we have UPS for the United States base rate, again, that's a flat rate that's charged no matter what. And that's basically any other shipping costs will be added on top of that. And a sort field, so if you have multiple shipping types, you can force the sort order in which they appear. And here's calculation type. Local is what we were talking about earlier, the shipping matrix that you built into this system. It's self-contained within the database. If you want to create a shipping method that interacts with a third-party shipper, you would do this at the select box. Here it allows you to select third-party integrations that are available in the system. As other third-party integrations are available in the system, they'll automatically appear in this drop-down. Selecting one of these would mean the shipping is not calculated locally. It will go out to the third-party shipper's system and pull back their shipping charges and add that to the total. Although the base rate will still be added to that. Now, if you don't want to charge a base rate, just set that to zero. And again, you can delete it or archive it. Again, we see here this must be used in an order because you can't delete it. So if you want to hide this particular shipping method, you would just archive it. Next, shipping ranges. Shipping ranges, again, are a part of the local shipping matrix. And it's basically what the shipping type is, which we've entered in the other page, and a from and to. This, for example, would be weight. We just have one, zero to nine, 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 nine. And what that means is basically everything we ship is that one rate. But you can create multiple 